My name is Dominic Cummins, and I am the co-founder of RightMind. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video as I explain why I do what I do. Growing up, my father was quite a bit older than the fathers of my peers. My dad was born in 1920 and served in World War II on the island of Tinian. While other kids in my school were listening to Depeche Mode and U2, I was listening to Glenn Miller and the Andrews Sisters. Now, this exposure to great music ultimately led me to pursue music as my passion, playing trumpet, piano, and a variety of other instruments. Growing up with a father in this age group, I was taught what now seem to have become old-fashioned values. Respect for others was a big part of what I remember my dad teaching me. For instance, it wasn't until much later in life that I learned the first names of my neighbors. To me, their first names were always Mr. or Mrs. My father officially retired when I was pretty young, but I never saw him sitting around. He found work at some luxury department stores selling men's clothes, which taught me not only the value of hard work, but also taught me a little bit about how to dress. Interestingly enough, my dad placed a heavy emphasis on his dress and grooming. My entire life, I never once saw him anything but clean shaven. Now, he was about six inches shorter than me, but he always looked so nice in the way he dressed. When we went to dinner, even if it was at a place that wasn't that fancy, he always wore a dark suit, white button-down shirt, and a blue and green regimental striped tie. His black Oxford shoes had a shine like a mirror. Now, of course, being his son, you can guess who else had to wear a suit and tie to dinner. And at that time, it was so embarrassing. I didn't realize until later that my dad's logic made sense. He used to say that the way you dress is a symbol of your level of respect for those who serve you or whom you serve. One morning in October of 1997, I said goodbye to my dad on my way out to my part-time job at a bank. This would be the last time that I saw my father, for he died later that morning of a massive heart attack. As anyone who has lost a parent knows, this is a life-changing experience. Later that week, we had the funeral, and that would prove to be a life-defining moment for me. He was buried with honors in one of the national cemeteries in California. After serving in the war, having spent another 20-plus years in government service, and then working in the aerospace and defense industry for many years before I was born, only six people were at his funeral. As a young man, I felt like my dad hadn't left a legacy. He hadn't done enough in his life to impact the lives of others so that they'd be here, there for us. For me, this was a defining moment where I vowed not to do the same to my future family. While I had to focus on a full-time job rather than my education, I wanted to make sure that every career move from there forward made a difference to the people around me. This led me to want to lead people so I could help leave a positive impact on their lives. After spending a number of years in various leadership roles, I started to develop a passion for helping small to medium-sized business owners. I realized that the owners of these companies were driven by a similar passion as me. In a sense, we wanted to change the world. Most small business owners that I have met got into their business so that they could make a difference. They invented a product, or they figured out a better way to do things, or had a passion for providing a service to other people. Now, of course, they wanted to make a profit while doing it, but the underlying goal was to make a difference. When I started RightMind, it was with the goal of helping these business owners achieve the goal of making a difference while at the same time supporting their families financially. I could take the lessons I learned at large organizations globally and then tailor these in a way that benefited small to medium-sized business owners. In a sense, I got to achieve my why while helping business owners do the same. Interestingly enough, I had another life-defining moment as a result of starting this business. While teaching a class to a group of professionals, I told this very story. And a lady in the audience said, your dad did leave a legacy, and it was you. 
That was a big moment for me and further reinforced why it is so important for me to work with others to help keep them centered on that which is most important to them. So that's why I do what I do. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to meeting some of you out there and learning why it is you do what you do.